Welcome back, everyone. We're diving headfirst into the Upside Down one last time. One last time, that's right. It's Stranger Things Season 5, the final season. Hitting Netflix in 2025. And the hype is already real. We've got some tantalizing breadcrumbs from the Duffers. Episode titles, casting announcements, a very specific time jump. We're going to dissect all of it analyze what these clues tell us about where the story might be going, the themes they might be exploring, and the emotional impact they're aiming for as this incredible saga comes to a close. So let's start with that time jump, 1987. Fall of 87, to be precise. The Duffers have made it clear that this wasn't a random choice. Definitely not. It syncs up the ages of the characters with the actors who play them, adds a new layer of realism as they face their final confrontation with the Upside Down. Think about it, they're not kids anymore. Young adults now. Exactly. Grappling with the weight of responsibility, the consequences of their choices. And 1987 itself, it's a loaded year. Yeah. Historically, culturally. Yeah. Absolutely. The Cold War thawing, technology exploding, a sense of global interconnectedness emerging, and a certain iconic action heroine kicking butt on the big screen. Okay, I see where you're going with that. We'll get to Linda Hamilton in a bit, but first, those episode titles. Netflix dropped those and the internet basically exploded. Understandably so, they're juicy. I'm gonna read them and you just try not to get chills. Okay. The Crawl. The vanishing of light with that ominous blank space. The Turnbow Trap. Sorcerer. Shock Jock. Escape from Camazots. The Bridge. And finally, The Right Side Up. Each one a potential breadcrumb. A hint at the trials and triumphs that await our beloved Hawkins crew. Right off the bat, the vanishing of Echoes of season one, Will Byers' disappearance, that sense of dread of knowing that no one is truly safe, and that blank space. It's like they're daring us to speculate. Who or what will vanish this time? The possibilities are both thrilling and terrifying. And then you've got Escape from Camazots. <laughs> Mythology alert. Camazots. Mayan bat god. Monster of the night. Associated with darkness and death. The Duffers have always woven folklore and mythology into the fabric of Stranger Things. This title hints at a potential deepening of that exploration. We're going deeper into the Upside Down's origin. Potentially, maybe even connecting it to ancient evils, adding a layer of historical and cultural depth to the central conflict. Okay, so we've got a time jump that aligns the characters' ages with the actors and places us in a pivotal year. And episode titles that hint at disappearances, mythology, and maybe even a journey to the heart of the Upside Down itself. What does it all mean? That's the million dollar question. And the beauty of it is we get to speculate, we get to theorize, we get to obsess over every detail, every clue. Because we're all invested in these characters. In this world. We've watched them grow up, faced extraordinary challenges alongside them, laughed with them, cried with them. And now we're heading towards the final showdown. The stakes have never been higher. Exactly. And I think that's what makes these clues so fascinating. They're not just plot points. They're windows into the emotional heart of the story. How will our heroes confront their destiny? What sacrifices will they have to make? And ultimately, what will be the lasting legacy of their fight against the Upside Down? It's exciting, right? Yeah. But there's this uh, almost a bittersweet feeling underneath it all. How could there not be? This is it, the final season. Right, end of an era. Exactly. And that weight, that sense of finality, it's palpable. David Harbour, who plays Hopper, he said the final table read was a complete tearjerker. Oh, wow. Yeah, he described it as incredibly emotional, cast members struggling to hold back tears. He even said, uh, and I'm quoting here, this finale is the best episode they've ever done. So knowing this is the last stand against the Upside Down, what kind of emotional roller coaster are the Duffers planning to take us on? Well, it's a testament to the power of storytelling, isn't it? These fictional characters, this world they inhabit, it elicits such strong emotions from us. We've spent almost a decade with them. We have. We've watched them grow from those awkward preteens to young adults facing unimaginable challenges. And now, knowing it's ending, knowing it's their final battle, it adds this immense weight to everything. Their actions, their relationships, every struggle, every victory. It makes you reflect on our own journey with the show. Doesn't it? Think about how these characters have become part of our cultural lexicon how their struggles have resonated with our own experiences, their resilience has inspired us. So as we approach this final season, we feel a mix of anticipation and loss. 
We're excited to see how it all unfolds, but we're also aware that we're saying goodbye. And to make things even more interesting, the Duffers have thrown some new faces into the mix for season five. New faces, new mysteries, always keeps us guessing. We got Linda Hamilton, yes, Sarah Connor herself, joining the cast. An icon, her presence alone adds another layer of intrigue to this final season. Totally. And along with her, we've got Nell Fisher, Jake Connolly, and Alex Bro. A talented bunch. And the Duffers are keeping their roles tightly under wraps? Which, of course, just fuels the speculation fire. Right, of course. Are they allies? Enemies? Do they have ties to the Upside Down? Maybe they hold the key to understanding it, defeating it. Or maybe they're connected to Hawkins in ways we haven't even considered. Bringing new conflicts, new alliances. Linda Hamilton's presence is particularly fascinating. I mean, she's an icon of the 1980s, forever associated with her role as Sarah Connor in The Terminator. Talk about perfect casting. It is a brilliant nod to the era and genre that Stranger Things embraces so wholeheartedly. And it raises all sorts of questions about her character. Will she be a hardened warrior, a protective figure? Or perhaps a villain with her own agenda. The fan theories are already running wild. I can't wait to see what they come up with. It feels like we're standing on the edge of something huge, the culmination of everything Stranger Things has been building towards. But even with all the excitement and anticipation, there's this uh, a tinge of sadness there too. You know. It's bittersweet. We're about to say goodbye to these characters, this world that's captivated us for so long. It really speaks to the show's impact, doesn't it? The range of emotions it brings up. Stranger Things is more than just a TV series at this point. It's a full-blown phenomenon. Absolutely. It sparked countless conversations, inspired fan art and music, even influenced fashion and design. It's a shared experience that connects people across generations. It reminds us of the power of storytelling how it can transport us, challenge us, and make us feel things deeply. It's become part of our collective consciousness, hasn't it? The characters, the storylines, the music, that 80s nostalgia, it's all woven into the fabric of pop culture. And while this may be the end of the main Stranger Things story, it's not the end of the road. We've got the spin-offs coming, the animated series, the stage show, the world of Stranger Things will continue to grow and evolve. Exactly. It's exciting to think about what those spin-offs might explore. Right. Will they delve deeper into the Upside Down, maybe reveal its origins or the true nature of the creatures that live there? Or will they go in a completely different direction? New characters, new storylines, maybe expand the mythology into different time periods or locations? The possibilities are endless. And the fact that the Duffers are involved means those projects will maintain the heart and soul of the original series. Okay, but let's get real for a second. This is it for Eleven, Mike, Dustin, Lucas, Will, Max, Hopper, Joyce, the whole Hawkins gang. We're gearing up for one last showdown with the Upside Down, one last emotional roller coaster. So as we head into this final season, I think it's worth reflecting on the legacy of Stranger Things. What will its lasting message be? What truths will it leave us pondering long after the final credits roll? At its core, Stranger Things is a story about the power of friendship, love, and resilience, facing unimaginable darkness. It reminds us that even in a world that feels increasingly chaotic, human connection is our greatest strength. I think you nailed it. Stranger Things has given us characters we deeply care about, characters who face their fears head on, fought for what they believe in, and shown us that incredible strength that comes from banding together. So as we brace ourselves for this final season, let's hold on to that hope, that belief in the power of human connection to overcome even the most daunting challenges. Well said. It's been fantastic diving deep into Stranger Things Season 5 with you. We can't wait to see what the Duffers have in store. And no matter how the story ends, the legacy of Stranger Things will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for years to come. I have no doubt. Thanks to everyone for joining us on this deep dive until 2025. Keep the lights on, keep that curiosity burning, and remember, friends, don't lie.